John 19, 9. So Pilate entered his headquarters again and said to Jesus, where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. There is such power in that part of the verse, but Jesus gave him no answer. Jesus was asked a question from a perspective that Pilate wouldn't be able to comprehend even to answer. So Jesus didn't give an answer. Uh, giving the answer would have raised more questions that had could have uh, sparked more debate and argument because there was no answer that was going to satisfy uh, the, the question, let alone the fact that this had been part of God's plan. But as I'm thinking about this, I, I, I also was thinking that left unanswered, what provoked Pilate to even ask that question continued to resonate in his mind, to consider it. So Jesus was actually very strategic in that. And and what about us? What about us? Um, you know, commonly the question is asked uh, with motives or perspective that is rhetorical, assuming, or insincere. And, and we will respond by keeping it going. You know, and so then there is there is argument, there is debate, there is heated there are heated conversations. You know, in Proverbs uh, twenty six twenty one, it says, "As charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a quarrelsome man for kindling strife." So by not answering, we're withholding fuel for fire and allowing people to ponder the very reason they asked the question and giving them something more to respond to or react to. There is something very spiritual and very powerful about holding our peace, trusting God to answer, and not entering into useless arguments and debates.